सो योर क्लास टेंथ एग्जाम जस्ट गॉट ओवर एंड अ लॉट ऑफ यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग की अब क्लास इलेवेंथ में मैथ की तैयारी कहाँ से करें डोंट वरी क्योंकि मैं हूँ ना All you need to do is visit Vedantu Math and subscribe to the channel because we have already started with the brand new series for class 11. So whether your aim is CBSE, ISC, JE mains, or you want to simply revise your class 11, you can refer to the schedule for the entire month of April. Hey class, good evening everyone. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to today's class and I hope all of you are doing awesome all of your exams went really well and mostly thank you so much for all your responses on all the videos which we have done special before the maths examination uh, I received a lot of love from all of you uh, uh, so I am really glad that all of you enjoyed those videos and it helped you a lot so once again thank you so much for all of this and uh, it was just my work I tried to support you and if in a way it has helped you a lot i'm really happy that those videos were really helpful to you so again thank you so much for all the good wishes and all the good comments which i have got all the love thank you so much beta i love you all and let's discuss what to do after the 10th part once you are over with the 10th examination tumhare paas mein tumhara summer holidays hai you have your whole summer holidays you'll be having fun or corona chal raha hai so you know ki don't step outside so please restrict yourself in the Uh, area of the home because once this uh, disease is not is is still uh, not under control it is a very contagious disease as you have read it about by now it's a very contagious disease and uh, the time period the incubation period about which the symptoms show up once the person has got a coronavirus the symptoms show up takes around 5 to 15 days okay so it's it's very important to know that uh, the symptoms even if a person looks healthy there might be symptoms and the symptoms might show later so for right now it is very important that you restrict your visits outside as less as possible if it is really urgent then wear a mask and then move outside and then uh, go outside otherwise try to stay in your home try to stay in the sa safety of your home because in that you are stopping the circulation of this uh, coronavirus so that is one whole thing which we want to take and since the students uh, as we all know that the schools are closed the students are also uh, not advised to go to school or not outside so at this point where the students required a good mentoring a good teaching we vidantu are working towards it so what we are getting you is we are committed to help all the students and all the parents in their goals in their uh, in their dreams so what we have done for right now that since all of you are studying from home for the risk this is a risk to our whole country the coronavirus is a risk is a threat to our whole country so to combat that part we are doing what we can do at our position so what we have done we have given free access to live classes and content of vedantu free access to all the grades from 1 to 12th okay so what you need to do for getting this access you just have to go vdnt.in/ytlive in all the capitals go to this link and you will be getting free access to all the content from grade 1 to grade 12th so no matter in whatever grade you are you can get access to those videos and have uh, the studies you can also be uh, take the examination on your own or uh, you can also do the studies the part which you were lagging because whatever you are studying in this grade will be useful in the next grade right you, you know this thing so this is the what this is what vedanto is trying to uh, help serve the nation and serve all the parents and all the students community out there who are at their home and cannot go to school so for all of you we have this thing so you can learn at the comfort of your home and you can stay safe during this environment okay so this is what is what we are offering to you now coming back to my uh, to this the title of this video which is what to do what what stream to choose after grade 10th is it so first of all let me tell you there are three options you have on uh, major three options which you have is arts commerce and science okay so first i'll tell you all the major things about it and then i'll tell you how do you choose the subjects okay so first let us discuss that first of all i would suggest that please do not go into the career opportunities after grade 10th because career it will take still 
after 10th it will take around 6 to 8 years to get a career right to to start your career even after 10th it will take around 6 to 8 years to start your career so that is why i'm telling you that do not focus on the career right now just focus on the streams which are available although i'll give you the information about the career options as well i'll discuss that in detail but the stream which you are going to choose you are not going to choose it on the basis of career you are going to choose it on the basis of your interest let me elaborate this further okay so the careers are even one is education based career the other is talent based career what is talent based career suppose you are good in singing you are good in dancing you are good in acting you are you, are, you want to create a, you, you want to become a youtuber this is a new uh, uh, this is a new career which has developed in the recent days right so this is what is called talent based career and uh, you cannot like this is the person specific okay education based career which is the majority of the people will go for it so in this you you according to the subjects which you like you'll pick those subjects and you'll study them you'll get your degrees you'll uh, fight for some examination and at the end you will get the job right so these are the two types of uh, uh, careers which you can get those who are interested in this one there is all the other courses are out there for dancing you can go for the formal dance training for singing you can go for the formal singing training okay so this part you you already know since you are in the talent based career part if you are in this talent based career part you already know more than what i know for uh, for your field right now in the case of education based career where you have all the three options so the three options which you will be having will be first thing the question is art science or commerce and what to choose sir i'm really confused uh, sir i like physics i like chemistry i don't like maths uh, i like mathematics but i don't like science i like arts but i don't like uh, civics in that what to do sir okay so many questions are there many questions comes into your mind and at the end you are like ha oh, i don't want to uh, deal with this right now leave it for now okay so this is the attitude which which i see and at the end will be seeing like ki okay out of 10 people whom i know out of 10 8 are saying to take me science so i'll take science irrespective of what i want to do right so that is the thing which i don't want my students to do okay what i want you to do understand is here after the, this grade 10th examination you should not go under the peer pressure of all the surroundings like i'm not saying that all your surroundings they'll give you the wrong information they'll also they are also telling you in a way the they think that it is good for your future but i would say that uh, you have to choose your own future right now because that is what you are going to carry with you for your whole life right so it's a very important thing which career do you choose right now now understand you have three options science commerce and arts okay so if you choose science stream there is your engineering stream and medicine stream that means your medical and non-medical field okay in science medical means with biology you are doing non-medical means without biology so pcm or pcb in some of the students they have pcmb both so they opted for both the kind whatever career they want they can go for it then commerce stream you have accounting finance marketing business and economic uh, economics insurance foreign uh, foreign trade and stock broking okay that is for your commerce and humanities or the art stream is economics education media and politics literature history architecture and philosophy now understand this thing very carefully the this is not an exclusive list okay it is not an exclusive list there are other career options available but i have just listed some of them okay so to just to tell you the nature of the work which you are going to get okay in science stream you are going to deal with mostly technology part be it medical technology or biotechnology or be it the uh, mechanical technology civil technology all those so you'll be basically dealing with the technological part in commerce stream you will be dealing with mostly economics okay you'll be mostly dealing with money okay and not money means ki you are not money like ki are full j bhar bhar ki money means the concept of money you are be you'll be dealing with how the economics work how do you make a firm grow microeconomics macroeconomics those are the things where you are going to learn with it and the then third part is humanities stream now this is the part where you will be learning that um, 
the the history you will be learning about the political science how 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 does the uh, polity works how the world politics is moving on right now you can go for writing books okay you can uh, really learn a lot in those parts so it all depends upon which subject which stream you are most interested in this is the main thing which i would like to say the options which i have shown you that how your career is going to be is not that important just understand that which subject you are going to do best suppose for example for example let me explain you let's say you are really interested about uh, let us say uh, i would say literature you are very interested in literature okay this is like the main part ki yaar sir i want to be a writer someday i want to be a writer someday then i'll ask you uh, okay you really want to be a writer right okay what kind of writer sir i want to write fictional like harry potter i want to write oh nice very good uh, then i'll ask you acha so that means in your till your grade 10 you must have loved the poems or the the chapters of english you must have learned them or you must have enjoyed them a lot right so you'll be saying ki no 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 sir i didn't like it i liked science better but i want to be a writer now that doesn't make sense because you like something else you want to be something else you can become a writer even after taking science there is no problem but what i'm saying is at least take that stream which you will enjoy why it is very important to enjoy the stream which you are taking because now onwards from after grade 10th the studies are going to be in a specialized manner till grade 10th you have learned whatever things you have learned that is the requirement for a normal educated person should know about the world there is no specialized studies you have done till grade 10th okay that is what that is the normal that is the normal knowledge which a educated person should have during the uh, educated person should have about the whole world so that is just making you awaken or just making you aware about the surroundings okay that is the whole part of grade 10th education now after grade 10 11th onwards your graduation all will be in a specialized way you will be dealing with the specialized topics if you are taking suppose pcm physics chemistry maths so mathematics mein you are going to go into the depth of calculus you are going to depth of geometry algebra you are going to learn them in detail probability you are going to learn them in detail you will be starting how those concepts are how 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 we got these concepts okay all the part you will be learning then when you'll move ahead to the suppose bsc or msc you'll further read in detail so now then afterwards your focus will only be in mathematics understood if you take for engineering so physics chemistry mathematics you have taken then you are going for engineering okay when you are going for engineering suppose you started with mechanical engineering let's say you are taken the mechanical engineering so first year there will be some subjects of electrical electronic okay and mechanical next second year onwards again some subjects third year finally will be purple, will be strictly related to mechanical part samajh rahe ho so this is how the course structure works they will make you specialize in a particular topic so coming 5 to 6 years you are going to learn about one subject that to in detail and if you don't love that subject you are not going to enjoy the studies that is the whole part so what i want to say is please do not think about what career you are going to have are uh, sir mai doctor banna chahta hu but you hate biology how will you become a doctor that is what my point okay so if you want to be a doctor you only want to be a doctor if you love biology If you don't love the subject, you cannot be. Sir, I saw in movies, doctor is very cool. अरे, I know doctors are cool, but they are cool because they did a lot of hard work. And if you are ready to do that much hard work, if you love those subjects, then only go for that stream. So my point, my advice, my final advice to you is: just think which subjects do you like the most, and which subjects you feel that you are going to love studying for the coming five to ten. Uh, sorry 5 to 6 years that is what will depend on what subjects you should take so be it arts be it commerce be it science if you love those subjects you are going to be successful in that and you are going to have a good career it is not a problem if you love those subjects if you are good in it you are going to have a good career the only thing is you have to think understand that choose a subject which you would love to study for the upcoming 5 to 6 years okay beta so with this i would like to end this part now i have told you the main advice that just choose the subjects which you would love to study irrespective of the career choice forget the career choice they don't matter right now just look at me i have done the engineering i have done the uh, engineering from iit dhanbad i have passed iit examination i have done iit 
IIT. I've done my four years in my college. I loved it. But what I'm doing right now, I'm teaching you all. Why? Because teaching is my passion. So if you're good at something, you'll get into that part. You'll do good. Doesn't matter. Only thing is just take those subjects which you are going to love for the love to study for next five to six years. Okay, so that is what my advice is to you all. And I would like to say that an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Okay, so that's a very uh, really good quote, which I want to say that if you are doing the investment of your five to six years, do it with such a subject that you will be getting a lot of knowledge about that. Okay, you would love to study that part and that will leave uh, that will give you a lot of interest. Okay, so thank you so much for attending the session. You can join the telegram group for our uh, Vedantu 9th and 10th group as well. Please like this video if you have loved this part. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel. Let them know if anyone else of your friends is also worried about what to choose after 10th. Let them suggest the uh, please suggest them this video and they'll also figure it out what to take. Okay, beta, thank you so much for attending the session. I'll see you soon in the next class. Till then, bye bye. Good night. See you soon. Bye bye to all of you. Bye bye.